we're going to be talking about doing a full bust adjustment on this pattern that I have here, which you'll see in the picture here. So today I'm going to actually measure it and determine if I need to do a full bust adjustment or anything like that on this pattern. And if you're not a member of my patron group, then make sure you like and subscribe this video because that'll help boost me up on the uh, algorithms that I have no control over. <laughs> Y'all already know how much I don't like dealing with that. But if you are new to this channel, like the button and also comment, talk to me. And I'll try to talk to you back as often as I can in the channel. So anyway, let's get started with this. You're going to be looking at the table while I work. This pattern that we're using, uh, like I said, it's right here. This is the Morphe Tissue Challenge. That's 116. It's a free pattern. You trace it out of one of the Morphe pattern books, which I'll put that up here for you. If you don't have that available, I got another pattern that during the month of August we can try to work with as part of this. So what you'll be able to do is choose to make this garment, I mean it's almost the same. Uh, if not, give me some suggestions and I'll do a, a bust adjustment on it too. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this one here. Here we go. I got everything I need without killing myself. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with this here. Looking at the table, I know you guys can see the table because I'm looking at the table on my screen over there. So looking at the table, you can see that I'm working with this Morphe. We had a Morphe tissue challenge facing uh, thing going on with uh, my sewing fashionistas group. So uh, what we did is we decided to use this as a item, as something to work together with to try to see if it's going to be a garment that we can use to uh, have leftover fabrics or scrap fabrics to make it into something pretty. For me, I want to show you how to fit it. I'm going to focus on just getting things done on the channel, showing you how I fit it, and move on. That's why you came here. That's what I want to do. Let's keep it simple. Go on to the length and the shorten for certain body types and things like that. You guys just come on over to my Patreon channel and you guys be part of that and you'll get all the rest of it. But let's get started with this here. In the beginning, I reviewed a pattern. This is how I look at it. I'm going to take the pieces that don't matter as much out of the way, which would include the pockets. I don't want the pockets <laughs> for now. Okay, so I will move those to the side. I do want, however, all the pieces that are going to make a difference for me to be able to fit this. What you do first is you're going to, if you're going to pin fit it, tissue fit, pin fit, or anything like that, you need to determine which parts of the pattern you're going to work with. So I'm going to show you, you um, when you print out a pattern, a lot of times it has the pattern lines laid on there. This one has the pattern lines 3 8 of an inch. This up here goes up here because I can tell, I see the letter J. That's how this pattern company is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch these together. Now this center front is on the fold. So let me go ahead and fold that because I'm going to do a quick little tissue fit because that's what I love to do. So I'm going to do a quick little tissue fit. Now this is drawing paper and it could tear very easily. If this doesn't work for you, there's some paper information down in the description for, that I'll show you that you could go get and use other than this one. So what I'm going to do is, then I'm going to take my pins. Now you could use the white headed pins, which are glass head pins, okay? Those are what I'm showing you in my hand, glass head pins, all right? So we, we pin that together on the stitching line. All right, so now for the stitching lines, you do not have to have tape along these straight lines. But when you do do anything with the uh, lines that are curved, you are going to have to make sure that you utilize tape to support and protect the, the seam lines, okay? So this is how quickly you can literally just test this without cutting a muslin. You need to take, uh, you need to make sure that you pin going down away from your neck because that is the little safer, okay? So there, that's my front. So now I open it up, fold it out. Let me show you how this is done. Move that out the way so you can see just this. 
Okay, so I'm gonna fold it out, make it flat, as though it's already stitched. All right. The next part is to stitch the side front or pin stitch the side front together. Moving quickly, you guys go watch my video on um, how to uh, pin your pattern together. If I don't have a video on there, then let me know and I'll make one for you. <laughs> now, if you notice, this line is curved. All right, so this is a bust dot right here. Really, it's sewn in. So because that's a bust dot, I'm going to put some tape on there. You don't want this to tear because it's going to open up and it's going to be bending a lot. Same thing with this curve here, okay? That is a princess curve. You can see that here, okay? Take a look at it in the picture I have here. It's a princess curve, okay? So because it's a princess curve, this is why you see this curve on the actual pattern right along this point here. So we're gonna keep on going with this. I know some people don't like to tear up their patterns. They'd rather just make fabric uh, muslins, but you can always get, a, get away from that by utilizing what they call a Pellin 18 uh, gridded, true grid fabric. It's sort of like a fabric, it is very, very thin. You can sew it, you can put it on. It's very cheap, <laughs> okay? That'll be linked in the description for you because I totally forgot to tell y'all about that one. All right, so let's go ahead and pin this together. Let's keep on going. Now, I am going to clip that a little bit, just a tiny bit, just a couple of places to help it curve around that pattern piece there. See? Because it is a princess seam. And because it's a princess seam, it does have some amount of give in it. Let's keep on getting this done. Okay, there we go. That's that part. So now we have that part open, and this is the bust area. You can see it's not going to be enough for me. I mean, look at how high it sits. It's not sitting high enough. <laughs> I can see it right there. It's not really sitting high enough for me. Okay. The next thing I'm going to put together is the yoke. Let me go ahead and press this a little bit. This is getting a little bit wrinkled. So I'm going to keep going. But just remember that a raglan sleeve or a dolman sleeve is made coming from your waist. All of the fitting is underneath your arm because the bust dart is gone now. If you want to make this bigger, you're going to either have to make the underarm more narrow going towards your waist or you're going to have to uh, cut into it, which it's already not there. So you're just going to cut into it and open it more across the front only and leave the back the same. If I were to measure across center back from this yoke all the way across to the shoulder, let's just say from the center back to the, to the shoulder seam, right across here, it's measuring at 13 and 3 fourths, pretty much. Let's see. It's measuring at 14 inches. So if I fold this 14 inches over, that's 28 inches. This is how it's going to be laying on my shoulder, like that. It's hanging off my shoulder because that's where the rest of it is. It's going all the way over because the sleeve hangs down. It's a cut on cap sleeve, cut on sleeve shoulder point. So you can get rid of that and get back to your regular shoulder. If you measure across, you'll know how much. See, now I know how much of this is just me. 16 inches of it is just me. So I divide that out if I want to, and I'll figure out which part of this is just for my body, which part is where my shoulder point is. See, because you always need to know where your shoulder point so you'll know where the fabric starts to hang. And if you know where your shoulder is, you know where your bust needs to be. Did I just make that confusing? I think I did, but let's keep on going. You'll get the point in a minute. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and keep on doing this thing. I'm not going to put the collar on because the collar is not going to have an effect on how I fit this. The neckline will do enough for me. I'm going to keep going here. Now, paper is not fabric, so don't think it's going to be perfect, okay? It's just a good start. Now, this here, of course, is a model. I'm using a size 44. <laughs> Based on Morphe, if you look at this here, and I know you probably can see it from the top here. Uh, based on this, 
bus top, bus 44, I should be 36 and one fourth inch. <laughs> really, I should be wearing, based on what Marfi says their bust is, bus size 36 and one fourth, I should be over here at the 50. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Okay, now we're going to finish tissue pinning the pattern together. All right, now let's go ahead and test it. Okay, so let's go ahead and play. This is me right here. This is me with no bra on, okay? So now the other thing that you need to do is make sure you tape the neckline and clip it as well because that's got to go around our neck in order to test the fit, okay? So we're going to do that. And now I'm going to try it on. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do it on my body so you guys can see how I do it. I have these here. I'm going to make sure the shoulder seam is right here on this pattern. I'm going to go ahead and use a little ink here to make sure I see where the shoulder seam is for this pattern. And then I'm going to put it on now and see where it falls. I know that the, that the collar goes up high, so I don't need to worry about making sure the collar is on this garment because it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the back, pull it in a little bit, and then make sure it's up here where it's supposed to be, which I need to get a mirror. I was going to get a mirror, but let's just concentrate, and I'll show you on here. This is how I feel it for myself, though. See, I have the, this here is supposed to be at my shoulder. So I'm going to make sure that's at my shoulder, and I'm going to make sure the side seam is at my side seam. And now I'm going to see where everything is laying. Let's go check for that back and make sure the back is where it's supposed to be. There's the center back right there. Okay, so I'm going to hold everything in place. Look at how I'm holding this. I'm holding it just like that. Everything feels like it's in place, okay? The shoulder is in place. You guys might be the judge of that better than me right now. The back, I can feel it. It feels good. There's the center back, and because it has a dark, it's going to open up. Look at the bottom. See, it's not even coming to my center hip back down there, okay? And now that I have everything in place here, it feels good. The neckline in the back feels good. This is opening up. See? It's opening. So here's the center point right there. So if I was to just make this 44, all I need is a center bust adjustment, a full bust adjustment. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this here. This is falling right over my apex. So this part needs to be moved over some more. That means I'm going to give all of this some room and move it over. Now, I did a shirt video with this exact same situation going on. I need this to come over some more, which means I'm going to add room to this and this. I'm just going to swing it out. That's what I do. I do pivot and slide. So how much am I going to swing it out, right? I'm going to swing it out from here to here, which I can feel my fingers. But there's my center point here. So this needs to be one and a half inches bigger than it is. But I don't want just to be able to breathe. So I'm going to open it up even more. More like one and three fourths or two inches worth of a full bust adjustment. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to write this note down. So I'm going to write it on a sticky note. I need at least one and a half inch for the full. So FBA is I'm going to say one and three fourths or one and seven, one point seven five. OK, that's my FBA. Now, if you notice this pocket and flap ends up right over my bust. It shows on the pattern that is underneath my bust. It shows on the pattern. Let me take one more look at that. Now, I'm doing my best to look through the camera to see this stuff. So let's put it on my lady here. All right. And of course, I had on a t-shirt. So let's put it on my lady. So I needed more room in the back. This here is five seam right there. Okay, 
So let's get ready to go ahead and do the full bust adjustment on really, really all it is is a princess seam. Unless we open it up from the yoke up here, we're gonna concentrate on only opening this part. So let's go ahead and do that first. Let's go ahead and get this. I'm starting to get excited now. At first, I didn't wanna do this. <laughs> so now let's put some paper on the table. Now what I'm gonna do is a pivot and slide of each one of these pieces. Let's take this apart. All we're changing is the front. We're not even gonna change this part. We're gonna change this section here. We're gonna do a pivot and slide. And between these points here, this is gonna give us two inches across the front. So let's take this out. I'm gonna use this point as a pivot, this neckline. We can do this by making sure that one of the portions are point, well, we can keep this here and we can pivot it from here and then we pivot it this way like that. Either way, it's still gonna be the same. So I'm just gonna pivot it here and here because this is too high up at the top to consider it as part of uh, changing the size of the garment. So I'm gonna go ahead and pivot it from just the top of the yoke intersection of the garment. If we need to, we can take some out of the yoke to close up this side, because this part right here could be really baggy. So we could take some of that out and close it up. Or another thing we could do when we get to that point is we can um, scoop it out of the yoke to make it hang better across our shoulder. So let's concentrate on this point first. It's, I mean, it is so simple, ladies, to do a pivot and slide full bust adjustment. Always make sure your pattern pieces are nice and flat. Don't let them curl up, so, cause then that'll make it messy. There we go. All right, so now what I'm going to do here, this is where I'm gonna do the pivot and slide. I'm gonna pivot from here to make this portion bigger between here and here. I have four seams. I have two, one on this side, one on this side, correct? And then one on this side and one on this side. That is one, two, three, four. So I take that, that means I only have to do half an inch per seam. So I'm going to take this seam, do half an inch, this seam, half an inch. And then I'm going to grade it back in at the bottom and at the top is going to be my pivot point. So the middle of that section that we already did, and I forgot to share, share that with you guys, but when we had this on our garment, on our body, as we had it on our body, we should always know where our bust is, which is right here where the 3 8 is, some similar to there. So we're gonna have it to right here. We're gonna make sure that our break point, a break point just means that when you get to that point where it starts to make a drastic curve, that's where it breaks. It's kind of like, you know, if you were to be, you know, surfing, that's a break. The, the, the water breaks into another direction, that's a break point. So when you get to that break point, that's where the curve and changes happen. So I have above my bust here and below my bust here, okay? So those areas are gonna be the area that creates the princess seam and that's why it gets so big and so rounded around that section. Now, when you do this, some parts of your seam are gonna get longer and some parts are gonna stay shorter. That's because it has more to go over, <laughs> okay? You can tell that there's a little bit of a curve. Let me show you. There's a little bit of a curve happening in our first portion, which is the front. There's more of a drastic curve happening on going towards the outside on the outer curve. Now we can make it three fourths inch to give more to that way and then that way less in the middle. We can distribute it half and half or we can distribute it one fourth and three fourths. We can do one third to whatever. We can flip it to add different amounts here. If you're real wide from the center to the center of your apex to the center of your body, then you want to go ahead and make it bigger in the middle. 
but sometimes making it look bigger in the middle just makes you look even wider so being wide is okay it don't make your blouse or your dresses appear to be over widened so to speak so you're gonna bring that in which is why we can put more on the outside and leave some on the inside and put some on the sides here we can add it all the way around we could do whatever we want so I divided that and I said I was gonna put one inch in here and three-fourths inch in here so let's just measure outward I'm just measuring from the seam line. The stitching line is not, uh, is, doesn't matter because either way, I just need to remember it's 3 8 inch seam allowance. Okay, so I'm going to measure from the 3 8 inch seam allowance. Let me slow this down. Okay, I need to do one and three fourths of an inch. So when I'm done, all of this one and three fourths of an inch needs to be taken up. So this is one. I'm going to take some of this here at this point. And then I'm going to take some of this over here. I'm going to take some of it. This here, I just did one inch there. So I'm going to take the rest of it over here. Three fourths. Right there. Okay. So either way it goes, this is going to come out and that's going to come out. So it looks like I would be coming out like this. All right, I'm just pivoting towards the point where it needs to be. Okay, and it's lengthening it at the top here. So it's actually giving me more length across the top. Take it back. Okay, now let's get back to where we are down here. And let's uh, move this in because we need to go back this way. Y'all see that? We got to make it curve nice and neatly. So I'm just curving it out. I got to start bringing it back though because I don't want that curve to be too drastic. See? It's coming in and it's coming out. And let's just slowly bring it back now this here is me adding this back so you see that curve happening now some of you are going to be like oh my god that looks so terrible don't worry about it it lengthened itself by half an inch or three-fourths of an inch and it got bigger by a little bit too this is where you should use your ruler because I didn't. There we go. And that curved out a little bit. Normally it was curved in. It's still going to bow out a little bit. I know the shape of my princess seam. So you guys trust me. I want it to go back in underneath my bust. I don't want it to hang straight. That's why I'm not worried about it looking funny. Do what works for your body. If yours were to go straight down, which is normally what would happen, then it would make the waist bigger. I could do that. I could just move this over. Once I pivot that, now I go to this point here, and then I get to this point, and now I just straighten it out and take it straight down. That's just making it bigger. I don't want it bigger all the way down. I want my curve. So then i would match it down here at the bottom you see all of this here i'm working on which is in the camera i have two cameras <laughs> i have two cameras so i could go ahead and go down and keep it straight i just added a whole three-eighths of an inch all the way down i don't want that three-eighths of an inch i don't want that inch and i don't want that whole seven uh, three-fourths of an inch added all the way across at the bottom so let's just leave that the way we have it now let's do the other side which is the right part on this side now we're going to pivot out to that one as well put my pin here which usually i have um push pin push pin is better okay so you take your push pin and you put it in there now you can swing out to 
the other portion and then trace. All right, now you can start coming back in when I get to this break point. See that break point ended up at the same place as it did on the front. So now I can start coming back in, back to my break point, and get back to, not all the way yet, cause that is too much of a drastic change. And then I'll come here. I'm gonna go ahead and make this to the break point by drawing a straight line almost to my break point because this is a straight line yes it is I'm drawing it and then it starts to curve it starts to curve right there so that means I'm going to do it to here all right and this I can see it's starting to curve a little bit right there so I'm curving in and this is where I start to make the, the curve to the break point. There. See? And now I'm going back into my waist right here. All right. Now remember, I did it more here. I need to make sure these match. Okay, so now let's measure that. Oh, that's gonna be pretty. I'm going to make it easier for you guys. Let me take off some of these extras so you don't see all of this. This will make your life a lot easier. There. You see the break point happening right here. This is the break point. Okay. There. It all happened in the right place. And this is where the curve got bigger. Okay, let's go ahead and cut that out and test it. I like that. So I'm going to tape this together. This is my new cut. All of this is new. So in order for you to see that all of this part is new, let me go ahead and draw some red on here so you guys can really see this is where all the new stuff happened. There we go. See, this is where I put all the new fat, new controlled added material or part. I like to do this because it is actually it helps me to see what I added to. Okay. I'm kind of not feeling this part here because I didn't do that down here. I didn't put that much up in here. I kind of should go in right where I had gone in there too. Right here. I kind of like that too because that way it'll go underneath my bust. It'll curve underneath like I want. It won't just hang straight. I like this. Let me do it like that. Y'all already know I'm going to do it my way. <laughs> okay. And this part got raised at the shoulder too. Because it got longer up there. It opened down here and got longer at the top. So we added a little bit at the shoulder part. It got a little longer. And it got wider at the bust right here and it has to get longer for it to fit you would have had to cut it and make it longer in the middle if you had done it any traditional way 
but we're not traditional. We aren't traditional on here, okay? There. Let's keep it moving. Next one, I'm going to go ahead and put a long piece of tape on here. I like using long pieces of tape. There we go. Now we can take the pins out and cut this apart. And when we cut this apart, this is now going to be a new pattern piece. We haven't changed anything else except added a full bust adjustment using the pivot and slide method. I'm going to use my rotary cutter to cut this off this extra paper, making sure I maintain what I started with. I'm cutting on the black line, going around my new bust section into the top and the same thing at the other one. Going on that side there, and then I'm gonna go here and cut the same, going around my new bust and to the top. So now all the rest of this stuff under here, I can cut off because I'm just going to, that's just added fabric or pattern fake paper, okay? So I don't need all this excess under here. Cause that, I just needed the paper under there to be able to add to it. I'm adding to it, not taking away. There, look at that. Now, when I, pin, when I pin this together, gotta make sure I have my extra at the top there, cause these are not gonna match all the way. Okay, so now let me pin these together from the point to point, top point to the bottom point. All right, and we're gonna pin everything together like we did before. Making sure And using a 3 8 inch seam allowance, which we remember, we added to this based on a 3 8 inch seam allowance. So we're gonna pin it as a 3 8 inch seam allowance, not less or not more, because then it won't fit our, our body. Okay, and I didn't do the back yet. And do the bottom. And the bust, look at that curve. It's going to curve out. Now, remember, it has to ease in. That's how fitting a uh, princess seam works. We have to ease it in, which means the tape has to be clipped a little bit. So this is going to be like a weird little Paula trick. Paula, Paula trick. <laughs> okay. Y'all, I haven't done this in so long. I, I kind of have been cheating by using like the bootstrap and the lacala they already made for you. And you guys know I worked so hard last year. Don't forget, we got to clip this. You know I worked last year so hard trying to get all this stuff done. I need to clip right there too. For all of that, the contest we did last year, that was a lot of work. <laughs> it was really a lot of work. This is too short. I think I did that wrong. There we go. Now, oops, I got to This got curved a little too. That's okay. Now we do it. Yeah, I kind of got to the point where I was probably wearing myself out. You know how it is. See, that fits now. See, it curves around. It's my bust your body, your taste, and your style. I don't like uh, it to fit boxy on the top. It can fit boxy everywhere else. But if it fits boxy around my chest, oh my God, I hate that. It feels terrible. All right, now of course this is paper. When I get ready to sew this together on some fabric, fabric manipulates a lot better than paper. And then I'll pin it together to the top of the yoke and we'll see how it looks. <laughs> and that'll be it. I think you guys should know how to do that one after this one. We'll do another pattern. All you have to do is add it to the, uh, add it in the comment section. Let me know which patterns you guys want me to do tutorials on. Oh, let you know what? This is, this is what happened. This is not high enough. 
there's my let me see I gotta hold that up to the light there we go there we go oh no I did it wrong again I have to hold that up to the light so I can see where my pocket is that's why it was fitting wrong. <laughs> Started off wrong at the bottom. It's kind of like putting your buttons on wrong when you're getting dressed. If you're getting dressed and then your buttons are not on correctly. There's so many options to, to deal with. There. That makes sense now. No wonder that didn't fit down there. Now it fits. Duh. Okay. Ha ha. Ha ha. Got it to fit now, didn't I? Okay. Now, see? That was easy. Now it works. I was wondering why I was having a problem with that. There. See? You guys already know, right? See, it's even now. It's not hard. See? That was easy. Look, even the pocket is on, on point. All right, so now let's sew this pin sew this back together and put it on the mannequin on the dress form so you guys can see how it's going to fit. And then we shall be done <laughs> for the day. This would be a good video. I like this. Let's keep, let's, oh, I can't wait to put it on the mannequin and see. I just, I'm trying to rush. Hold on. Let's move fast. Let's let the video go super fast. Ouch. Ooh, that hurts. Speed it up. Everybody, this is uh, Morphe 0160116. We're finished making all the adjustments. We did a one and three fourths inch full bust adjustment on it. We made sure that the center back was opened up by another three fourths of an inch, the side seam a one and one fourth inch, so that it would hang better. All of those tutorials, all the rest of the tutorials for on how to do the entire thing is on the Patreon uh, page, so you guys can watch that anytime. As far as this one is concerned, we just want to focus on the full bust adjustment because I kind of figured that's what you guys would like. It would be too difficult to add everything on here every time I do any adjustments on the pattern. But that's perfect for this one. And I am ready to rock and roll.